Hello, good afternoon everyone, and good afternoon Mr. Arius Mar. I want to say thank you for giving me this assignment. With this assignment, I hope I can improve my public speaking skill for the better. First of all, let me introduce myself. My name is Marshall Jutantato, and I'm majoring in business management. I'm from class LA86. So today, I want to explain about my favorite dessert food in Bekasi City. It is a sweet dessert. People usually call it Esokotang or Esoyen. Esokotang is an authentic Indonesian food originating from the area of Bandung, West Java, Indonesia. One of the best Esokotang stores in Bekasi City is located in Kemang Pratamaraya in front of Indomart, Rawalungu, Bekasi. The name of the store is Esokotang Mang Dede. Mang Dede is the name of the seller of Esokotang there. His full name is Dede Suhana. Esokotan by Mr. Dede Suhana has been around since 2003. He established his Esokotan store in 2003 when he and his wife had just moved from Bandung and lived in Bekasi. Mang Dede said that he sells Esokotan because it has been hereditary business and there is special secret recipe given from generation to generation from his ancestors. Mang Dede started his business with capital from his savings with his wife. The first time he created this business, he only using a small wagon. But he only stayed at a certain point and he didn't go around to sell his Esokotang. Mang Dede said at the first time, it was quite difficult to sell Esokotang in Bekasi because there are still many people who are not yet familiar or know about Esokotang. But over time, Esokotang Mang Dede already have a lot of consumers. Do, uh, by, during time by time, Esokotang Mang Dede become famous because people give their <coughs> friends and family recommendation to buy Esokotang Mang Dede because it tastes good and with its own characteristics. At first glance, Esokotang looks very similar to Esok Champun. Therefore, it is not surprising that many people call Esokotan as Es Campur. Therefore, the, the contents themselves are fairly complete, ranging from young coconuts, matcha china, tape, sugar palm fruit, and avocado. How to make Esokotan? The ingredients needed to make Esokotan are First, you need a red syrup. The second is you need a pancha china. The third is you need a jackfruit. The fourth you need a sugar palm fruit. The fifth is you need a white sugar and brown sugar. The sixth is you need a sweetened condensed milk. The seventh is you need a young coconut. And the last is you need a shaved ice. Here are the steps on how to make as a cotton. The first one is you need to prepare a medium sized bowl. The second added all the fruits and toppings that have been prepared into the bowl. The third, added the shaved ice into the bowl. The fourth, added the syrup, sugar, and sweetened condensed milk into the bowl. And as a cotton ready to be served. So in my opinion, as a cotton mang dede business is very profitable. It is because as a cotton mang dede customers are very loyal to him. It's also because Esokotang Mang Dede has been established since 2003. That's why Esokotang Mang Dede already have a lot of loyal customers. And also, Esokotang Mang Dede store has been already widely known. Esokotang Mang Dede is also sold out every day. The taste of Esokotang made by Mang Dede is very delicious. It is very sweet and creamy at the same time. The texture is also very unique because of the many toppings inside the Esokotan. The disadvantage of Esokotan Mang Dede business, in my opinion, there are only two disadvantages. First, the first one is about the place. The place is too small and less clean. My suggestion is Mang Dede should expand the place and improve the cleanliness of the place to eat so that his customers could feel more comfortable when eating in his Esokotan store. The second one is about the services. From what I experience when I make an order, the services are still very lacking. It is because the number of employees with buyers is not comparable. 
The result is in the level of service provided is less than optimal. There are so many customers who buy as a potong mang dede, but they choose to be wrapped and brought to their home. Sometimes the employees prioritize more on to make any orders for the customers who buy the as a potong mang dede or to be wrapped and brought to their home, so that the customers who want to dine in at the store have to wait longer. I hope the quality of services in as a potong mang dede store can improve for the better. So that is my explanation about my favorite dessert food in Bekasi City. As you already know, as a kotang mang dede tastes very delicious. It is sweet and creamy at the same time. And the texture is also very unique. It is very suitable to be eaten during the hot sunny day. I guarantee, I guarantee it will make you feel so fresh. That's why you should definitely try it. Okay guys, that is my explanation about my favorite dessert food in Bekasi City. Are you guys having any questions? Uh, me. So, how many calories are there in a bowl of S chocolate? Okay, so the calories in a bowl of S as a cotton are uncertain, but I can say that the calories in a bowl of S a cotton is around 200 to 300 calories. Why in making of S cotton requires white sugar and brown sugar? According to Mandede, why S cotton need a white sugar and brown sugar? Because Mandede said that white sugar and brown sugar produce a, a different taste. That's why he need to use these two types of different sugar. Okay. Okay guys, thank you for your attention. I hope you gained some information about my favorite dessert food in Bekasi City.